Uh, g'day Hugo. Uh, a quick video. There's the uh, Ford hatch, first specs unit I made myself. And it is bulletproof, waterproof, whatever. This boat did leak a lot and one of them was uh, the hatch and the forward cabin. And also, as you can see, I put all my own shelving up with air tight containers to put all your clothes and towels and whatever. Um, I have a lot of this type of shelving. Oh, this type of cage shelving all over the place to hold everything you need. You've got a Sorocco fan in the main of uh, the V-berth. And the, the toilet is brand new, never used. Um, it just needs some tweaking um, in that. Uh, I think the hoses have just got to be a little bit taller. I've got the other hoses, so this bend should be probably up to there. Um, but it, you know, as I said, it, it, it's brand new. It is uh, working, but it needs some tweaking. Again, more caging. Um, these are these water bottles I have internally. One goes under the V-berth there, that, and that other one goes in front of the motor at the step area. And they supply me with fresh water. Yeah, it did come with a 100 litre tank, but it was uh, it was a bladder type and it was stuffed. So I just use all these containers and they work well. As I said, I've got containers everywhere. Um, um, recycle, recycle fans inside. This cabinet is my wet locker, which I put on my wet weather clothes. You know about my fridge. Look, I've spent a lot of time and effort. As I said, look, it's got a, a recirculation fan. Uh, everything's smart, another Sirocco up here, that's the emergency lighting, it's on at the moment, and it's said you've got your uh, smoke detector, and they're all brand new, uh, uh, carbon monoxide, uh, and all your gauges, and the original compass I've brought inside as a backup. Uh, the sound system is perfect, that's the radio, again I fixed it in properly and reset all the speakers because of uh, crap. Uh, switching everywhere, they're all for the uh, exterior blue lights, one on each side and one at the back. Again the shelving around here, now I've designed this boat for two people, so the shelving comes out a bit further, this can go down into a bed, uh, again more of that shelving everywhere, so you've got plenty of room to put everything in here is my wall uh, underneath, is, uh, where I can fit up to 50 bottles of uh, water. Uh, there's one of the workshop manual. Over here is three manuals: the uh, operator's manual, the parts catalog. That's all for the motor. And then this big book has all the uh, marine um, surveys. I had one done in 2020. One was done by the previous owner, 2016. It's all documented there. Licenses, moorings, registrations, uh, paperwork for everything. I've got spares of pumps and whatever. You've got um, holes underneath both seats. And again, I've insulated everything with uh, alfoil bubble uh, with matting, and they work perfect. Um, under here, under the fridge, is a uh, cupboard that I made because it was all spare room, and all my pots and pans live in there. So it's been, and I've got these. Uh, old pot hangers that I put my fruit and vegetables when I go. You can unhook them and whatever you got. Uh, the panel here, this is a uh, engine uh, protection so if it ever overheats you'll set off an alarm. I've got another one out in the cockpit that I haven't fully connected. It has an oil pressure and a heat, uh, the motor heat uh, uh, alarm. Uh, this is the original panel, which is tied up those batteries I told you, that's the fuses there. This one's got another set of fuses there. So I've got everything, and you can see the uh, it's got circuit breakers and fuses. Uh, I am a next uh, a retired electrician, so I didn't spare. And then I, on top of that, not only did I rewire the whole boat and put in a lot of good extras and it runs it all, um, um, I had uh, the marine uh, electricians come from uh, um, Nelson's Bay Marina to inspect it and they only told me the only thing I missed was one circuit breaker here for the alternator which wasn't in the original one but I put it in anyway uh, as with marine uh, survey he went over the boat and anything he found I fixed straight away and in fact I did even more so he's pretty impressed you can get him at uh, Oyster Cove Marina in Port Stevens 
Uh, I showed you all those containers with spears and monuments. Anyway, look, the boat's in pot here, as you can see, she's kicking over. We'll go outside, see there, she's kicking over really well. I might even go out for putt, putt. So I haven't used it for six weeks, and sure enough, she kicked over second time. Um, let's just go out the back here. Now, the, this dinghy comes with the boat, a uh, fiberglass dinghy, and you can see she's pumping out a nice volume of water at idle. Okay. It's got the ladder there to get off and on. These are these bottles I strap at the back, a 12 litre diesel. Um, and there's a 35 litre tank just under there. And they're the water tanks that I commonly carry. And up the bow, I have a couple of bars that I can put up. And you can put four, three or four on each side of these containers. Anyway, this is the, um, I've got all the covers. This, 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 this Ray Marines is depth gauge. Oh, oh. Okay, she's a depth gauge. Um, that's a taco, not connected, but a brand new one. You saw pictures of it. There's the other engine gauge. Look them up, they're an Australian brand and they are bulletproof. They're fantastic. I've got red lights uh, around for night time. And I've got white lights for day, uh, for when you don't, really don't want to get flashed out with the amount of lights. Now I did have, it's got on a tiller and a connection there for a auto uh, pilot but it didn't come with one uh, I've not looked into it um, anyway that's the boat mate she's looking good I might go out for a putt putt right, have a look at the bow <coughs> okay nice day in Port Stevens uh, let me get up on the solar panels oh, this is a bit hard for me because I'm getting a little bit sore solar panels are set uh, they work bullet. They are fantastic. They really are. It runs on my system uh, They can be disconnected, but you'd have to unbolt them um, Which could be a bit of a bugger, but you know you take them off once you leave them off for three or four months put them back on Sweet and then I've got the one one single 60 and one single 10 up there um, All right, mate. I'll leave it with you. Oh this uh, pulley system uh, three to one uh, she pulls up all these bottles when I come Pulls up any heavy loads of bottles when they're full they're heavy under here is I showed you a picture She's got the manual pump Bilge pump. I've got an auto manual pump that's on all the time So yeah, she's a beauty. Honestly, I haven't spared on it uh, She is a 79 model. It is a 16 horsepower Yamaha motor um, And I've got all the paperwork and as I said I even got the I think uh, uh, another marine survey that was done from the previous owner uh, that lived in Brisbane Waters, uh, Gosford. Um, and you got the Garmin swivel out. She swivels right outside here and I use that for direction and, and it's, it's a beauty, mate. Anyway, that'll be enough talking now. See what you think. Bye.